Hey friends, today we are going to make some snow globe cookies, so stay tuned. Okay everybody, so I'm using the Americolor uh, gel paste food coloring, and to be honest, some leftover food coloring from I don't know when, but it's still edible, still good. Um, this is the Baker Pan food color marker in just a solid black. Some water, um, although you could use like almond extract to dilute the colors. And then these are all paint brushes by Wilton. So um, truth be told, sometimes I do my cookie baking myself and sometimes I outsource. I am not very good at doing the flood icing. So this is one of those examples where I got my cookies from a friend of mine who is a baker, so the flood icing is already done for me. Um, there are simple, simple recipes online if you do wanna do your own flood icing, um, but like I said, this time around, I decided to have it done. So I'm going to pick out a couple colors. I think for today, I'd like to do um, a Christmas tree with maybe some snow in the background. Um, we'll see what I decide to come up with. So let's get started. I think what I'd like to do is give a little bit of a background color of the sky. So I'm going to go ahead and get some colors ready. And it's really trial and error because you don't want to oversaturate the flood icing or it will start to dissolve and that is not good. You can see how dark this is. Um, look at just from diluting that. So I'm actually going to get a paper towel. Okay, I'm going to actually just put my paper towel here so I have it super close ready for anything that can go wrong which can happen. So I'm gonna to try to get a lot of that excess water off and just start going in and dusting it on lightly. So if we are doing a snow globe, it's gonna be made of glass. So you wanna keep a little bit of the edge of the cookie still that white color because the glass would be thick and your coloring wouldn't go all the way to the edge of the cookie. If you're gonna do like a serious color change, then 100% you should absolutely um, clean out your water and get fresh water. Um, by the way, this is a thinner, so these aren't gels, these are actual food coloring, but the Americolor ones, these are actually soft gel paste. So these are gonna give a way thicker consistency. Um, but for today, I'm kind of doing whatever colors I had on hand. So some I do have in the gels, and some I only have in the regular food color dye, which is fine. And I'm actually gonna use a little bit of red to mix in for areas that I want to be darker. So as you know, when we're thinking about the color wheel, if you're using um, colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, you're gonna get closer to a brown color which is kind of what I want to have happen right now. So I have a little bit of red and a little bit of green and I'm going to mix them and hopefully, yep. So you could see we're getting a nice brown color and that's gonna be for my base of my snow globe because I wanna give it kind of a wood, a wood finish. So nice. Just try not to have the cookie move. It wouldn't be the best thing. Ah. So we're getting kind of a brown gray. Another color that would be cool for this is if you did it with yellow and it would give you um, like a gold tone base, which that's another option too. 
So for again, the, for the look of wood, we do want to have a kind of stripey look. So it looks like actual real wood. Give him a nice little base to our snow globe. <laughs> my voice is far off from Bob Ross. I used to love listening to Bob Ross as he painted. So hopefully my voice is not super annoying <laughs> so that you can actually tolerate doing this. It's kind of hard for me to see with the um, overhead light. So I might tip this a little bit from time to time just to see how it looks from different angles. Okay, pretty cute. I think I'm gonna go in and start working on my tree. So let's start this guy. You know what? I think I may switch to my smaller brush just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna start with just a true green right now just because I wanna get him nice and tiny. I do wanna leave some of that white coming through. So it looks like our tree has some snow. You could go back and add some white icing on top of your branches, which is another idea. But for today, I think I'm just going to go with leaving some areas white. And there we have our little tree. If you want to add in a little bit of a deeper color, go ahead and mix it with some of the brown that you created before. We can give him a little hint of a tree trunk coming through and maybe some branches. And he looks pretty good to me. Maybe I'll give him some dark areas under here a sneak. Cool. Just giving him some little darker areas for dimension under some of his branches just to give him a little more depth. And again, I would go right underneath some of your green just to give him a little more dimension. Okay. I kind of like him the way he is. I don't know if I want to add anything. I think I might stop this guy where he is. So there you have it. That's a simple, simple way to do a little snow globe ornament. Came out pretty cute. <laughs>